everyone, it's Arrow here again, hoping you all had a very Merry Christmas. Now I've seen tag videos that are called What's in My Bag, or What's in My Purse, and I've seen Christmas and Birthday Haul tag videos, so I thought that I would combine the two and show you what's in my Christmas stocking. Um, my birthday is in November, 15th of November, um, and I've decided to combine the birthday and Christmas gifts together so I can show you um, what presents I got this year. Okay, now the first couple of gifts I'm going to show you actually need um, pictures uh, because they are not still in my stocking, they're not ready to hand. And um, the first is uh, my birthday present from my parents and it is this gorgeous dress. Um, which was bought for me for a ball I attended in December. It's a really beautiful sort of wine colour um, with decorative black beading and um, it's stunning and I'm so pleased with it and it, I think I look really good in it so uh, I hope you do too. Uh, the second gift was a birthday present from my housemate um, and she got me a Victorian style night dress, long white nighty. Um, I've always wanted one of these because I think there's something very romantic um, about period nightwear. But when you see Jane Eyre and Pride and Prejudice and that sort of thing and they're floating around in their white nighties, I, I think it's really nice. So um, those are the first two. Now, let's get on to the stocking proper. I don't know if you can read this, but it says, um, Dear Santa, I will be very good next year. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, first present. Okay, these, there are two in here, obviously it's a pair. Um, these are slippers. Um, they came from uh, my housemate. Um, I think they're probably from BHS. And they're really warm and cosy because... Uh, they're fur lined all in on the inside. There's sort of, I mean, this is faux fur, obviously. Um, and uh, it goes all the way down into the toes. Now, I get cold very easily, um, so these are going to keep my feet snuggling warm, So, which is great. I was very pleased with these. These were a Christmas present from my housemate. Um, I've got uh, the people who buy me presents are my parents, my grandparents my sister and brother-in-law, my brother, and my housemate. So, uh, and yeah, these are birthday and Christmas presents. What's next? Oh. Bananagrams calendar for 2012. Um, this was from my housemate. Uh, this was a birthday gift. Um, I really enjoy Bananagrams. I think it's a great game, and uh, it's not stretching the truth to say that I'm quite good at it. So uh, I shall look forward to opening this um, and starting off on New Year's Day. Okay, these were a present from my brother. Um, they are inserts for my Filofax uh, for 2012. Um, and I've got um, note paper for jotting my notes in. I've got um, personal finance sheets so I can keep track of my spending, very important. And um, he got me two sets of uh, diary sheets for 2012. Now, um, the reason I asked for two um, was that I like to use one to put sort of um, my appointments and uh, stuff in, where my days are far, when I put doctor's appointments, etc. And the other one, um, I want to keep a record of the movies I see, the books I read, and uh, that sort of thing over um, 2012 because I like to look back on that sort of thing. I think um, it's an enjoyable thing for me to do because I don't keep a diary in the strictest sense. So um, it's a nice way of keeping track of uh, my entertainment of the year, I should say. Okay. digital photo frame. It's my birthday present from my sister and my brother-in-law. Um, 
And these are really cool, I think, because um, obviously I have a digital camera and we take so many photos on our digital cameras and then we just display them on our computers and we don't bother to print them out and put them anywhere. Um, and the whole point of taking photos is the pictures. So um, I'm going to set this up in the new year and uh, put some photos on it um, on a card and um, I look forward to using that. So that's my birthday present for my sister and my brother-in-law. Okay. Um, True Blood, season three on DVD. Yay! Christmas present from my housemate. We have watched the first two seasons of True Blood uh, together. I've, I've had them on DVD for a while. And um, I did mention to her that I was planning on getting season three. Um, we spend a week or so um, sitting on the sofa and we watch these on the computer. So we'll get through maybe one, two episodes a night. Um, so it's great to have season three and I'm very excited about the bonus features. I especially love audio commentary on DVDs. So uh, that's a really great gift. I'm looking forward to watching that. Okay. Oh, another housemate Christmas present. Um, we did stockings for each other this year. So if this is seeming like a lot of gifts from one person, that's why. Um, this is the illustrated screenplay from um, Terry Pratchett's Hogfather. Uh, Sky One uh, did the adaptation a few years ago now, 2007, 2005? I, I don't know, I'm going to have to check that. Um, but it's the, the illustrated screenplay um, that they worked from. It's full of pictures and obviously the shooting scripts. Um, I'm a bit of a film buff. Um, I like learning and finding out about how the films are made and what comes together to make them. Um, which is why I like DVDs and Blu-rays to have special features. I enjoy the whole behind the scenes bit. Next. Ah! Christmas present from my brother, sort of. Um, he actually bought me a copy of Snuff by Terry Pratchett, uh, his new hardback, um, but I'd already got it for myself, so I took it back and I exchanged it for the QI board game. Um, QI is a brilliant TV panel show. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, YouTube it now. It's brilliant. It's really fun and um, entertaining and educational. Um, QI stands for quite interesting and um, it deals with things that we think we know that in fact we don't know. So, um, oh, one of the festive ones they came up with um, was why would a male reindeer fancy Rudolph? And the answer is that Rudolph is a girl because according to the QI elves, which is what they call them, uh, the researchers, um, male reindeer shed their antlers before winter, so any reindeer that still have antlers at Christmas are female, and when you see um, Rudolph in pictures, he always has antlers, so he must be a she. So this is the board game, um, I played it with my housemate and one of my friends, and it was good fun. I think we'll probably crack it out New Year's Eve um, when there's a lot of us and have a proper game then. Another present that I will have to show you a picture of is um, this was actually on my Christmas list and it's what my sister and my brother-in-law bought for me and it's a wicker laundry hamper with a lid. Um, I think it must be a sign of growing up when you've got things like laundry hampers on your Christmas list. <laughs> Okay, next present. Um, another board game. The Twilight Saga Seen It board game. Um, yeah, I'm a Twilighter. I can't, I can't help it. I love Twilight. I love the movies. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have fun with that. I need some fellow Twilighters to challenge me. Um, and yeah, that's going to be good fun, I think. Oh, we're getting to the bottom. Christmas present from my grandparents. Um, this is Avon Care Glycerine Hand and Nail Cream. Is it? Yes, it's Hand and Nail Cream. 
Um, my nanny uh, buys a lot of Avon products uh, around this time of year. Um, one of her neighbours is um, an Avon salesman, saleswoman I should say. So uh, yeah, you get some really nice stuff from Avon and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to using this and uh, seeing how it works for me and for my skin. Phantom of the Opera 25th Anniversary DVD. This was from my grandparents. I am thrilled to bits with this. I I didn't think I was going to get it and I'm so pleased that I did. Um, I went to see this when it was broadcast to my local cinema and I loved it. Phantom is my favourite musical and um, I'm just so thrilled to have this on DVD. This, is, uh, this was recorded live at the Royal Albert Hall for the 25th anniversary of the Phantom of the Opera. Now this present, this was from my parents and I had absolutely no idea this was coming. What this is, is a ticket for a studio tour of the Warner Brothers Studios, the making of the Harry Potter films. And um, I have to go online and sort of book my place. Um, but it's going to be in London, it's going to be in March, I think, and um, I've got tickets to go and I think the sets are going to be there and there'll be like waxworks of the characters and the actors and so on and I did, this wasn't on my list, I didn't know anything about it, so when I unwrapped this the first thing I thought was, huh, what's this? And then I looked a bit closer and saw what it was and it's... I'm so thrilled, I'm so thrilled to be able to go and see this. Brilliant. Oh, and my last present, this was a birthday present. I'm actually going to have to get a bit closer to show you this. Um, these are earrings. There you go, I don't know if you can see those. Not very good. I'll have to take a photo, I think. Um, these are opal earrings. They are from my grandparents for my birthday. I'd asked specifically for opal earrings, and opal earrings I have. Um, and they're gorgeous. They're heart-shaped, and they're blue, which is very unusual for opals. So that was my birthday and Christmas present haul for 2011. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that uh, you will do this tag as well. Um, the people I'm tagging specifically, uh, your names should be scrolling up the screen about now. Uh, do give it a go. I want to know what you got for Christmas. And I shall be back uh, with another tutorial, which I'm probably going to be filming today. So uh, if you see me wearing the same T-shirt, that's why. I want to I wanna film it before the light goes. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my haul. And um, it only remains for me to wish you a very happy new year. Cheerio.